Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Last night, a secretly recorded conversation between President Trump and his now estranged attorney, Michael Cohen, aired on television. Much of the dialogue in the tape was garbled, but the thrust seemed to be that one of the men on the call had a personal history consistent with what you might expect from a longtime Atlantic City casino owner. Consorting with loose women was a main theme of the conversation. Well, for viewers who had until recently assumed that Donald Trump was a conventional Midwestern evangelical, this must have been a total shock. For everyone else, those of us who've read the New York Post every day for the past 35 years, it was not. But for the professional hysterics in cable land, the Cohen tape was the breakingest possible breaking news, a stop the presses Hindenburg aflame moment. It was unbelievable. Here's a brief selection of the pandemonium from last night. Watch. We're back now with our breaking news. It's a CNN exclusive, the secret recording between then-candidate Donald Trump and his attorney, Michael Cohen. Michael Cohen's lawyer, Lanny Davis, released a recording tonight. Breaking news, CNN has exclusively obtained a secret audio recording. All right, the president is firing back at that audio recording. The breaking news we're covering tonight, the Cohen-Trump audio recording. Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. 500 years after Galileo, the universe has once again been reordered, this time by the American news media. Donald Trump sits at the center of it. Everything is about Trump. Every word he utters is existentially appalling. Every statement he makes is the single greatest moral outrage since the Tuskegee syphilis experiments. In the eyes of Washington, Donald Trump is pure badness, unadulterated 200-proof evil. And this has effects because they believe Trump is utterly, entirely bad. The left no longer feels the need to acknowledge nuance of any kind or practice restraint. Just a few years ago, they might have called him a crappy president. Today, they tell us he's a fascist dictator like Mussolini, but of course, much worse than Mussolini because he's not Mussolini, he's Donald Trump. I believe we're in a lot of trouble here that I've never seen before in my lifetime of any president. And I would like Obama to speak some out against it. What he wants to do is set working people against working people, black working people against white working people. A president is not a monarch or a dictator, notwithstanding the fact that Donald Trump often fancies himself in that fashion. That is exactly what you see in authoritarian regimes. So what happens if you keep talking like this every day for a year and a half? Well, some people will take you seriously. They believe you when they say their country is becoming a dictatorship and they get angry. Some of them will become violent. At least one might shoot up a congressional baseball game and who knows what might happen next. Meanwhile, Democratic leaders stand back and watch all of this, mostly hoping the mob doesn't turn on them as ultimately it will.